No, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> All right, friends. Shabbat Shalom and good Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom. I'm telling you, it was a beautiful day here in Huntington. This morning when I got up to let the hounds out, about <laughs> four, they decide when they want to go out. Um, it was very foggy, lots of fog um, in the backyard. And then uh, this morning it was a little cloudy, but uh, by being by now it's absolutely gorgeous out there. It was a nice day. Um, summer is going to make one last hurrah, I think, because uh, Thursday next next Thursday is the first day of autumn. Yep. And that's a great, great season. So, but a beautiful day here, amazing. Uh, Shabbat looks like it's going to be beautiful as well. So cannot beat that. And we are a week and uh, two days yeah. away from the high yeah. holidays. Yeah. So uh, one more Shabbos of 5782. And I'm going to have to try to figure it out. Yeah. Almost as old as you, Dennis. <laughs> It's almost as old. Almost, now. almost. A couple of years off. But, but uh, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, it's uh, you're gonna have to remember to start writing 5783 as opposed to 5782, and then in January 2023 as uh, anyway, it's a mess. It's a mess. But we are going to begin uh, Shabbat by lighting the candles. We'll have Judy come up, and uh, we have a new. Instrument of flame here, and it works. Uh, it works when I tested it before. I, I tested it too. Okay, well that works. That's two tests. <laughs> yeah. Double blind test. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light. So may we, in our own day, be among those who kindle light. Baruch Atah Benai Eloheinu Melechah Ha'olam Asher Kedishana B'mitzvotam V'tihane L'hadlik Ne'er Amen. Thank you. See, it worked really nice. It was a quick one. It worked. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Let's continue with the responsive reading. Uh, let's visit page six. Page six in the middle, responsively in English. May the door of this synagogue be wide enough to receive all who hunger for love, all who are lonely for friendship. May it welcome all who appear so burdened, thanks to express, hopes to nurture. May the door of the synagogue be narrow enough to shut out pettiness and pride, envy and enmity. May it stretch on be no stumbling blocks to young restrained feet. May it be too high to admit complacency, selfishness, and harshness. May the synagogue be for all who enter the doorway to a richer and more meaningful life. All right, well, we'll continue with the uh, song leading us to the welcoming the Shabbos bride, and we'll begin on page 20 with Lecha Dudi. Lecha, oh, sorry. Gotta let me start because then I get thrown off. Lecha Dudi, Li Grakala, Penehe Shabbat Nikabila, Lecha Dudi, Li Grakala. Tenei shabbat nekabila, shamor zahor b'dibor echad, ish miyahanu el hamilchad, adunai echad ushmaho echad, l'shemot iberet beli kila, lechad ubili brachala, tenei shabbat nekabila. Likrat Shabbat lechu benelcha ki mekor ha'bracha meirosh mikedem nehesucha sofma asev machshavat chila lechadudi likrat hala benehe Shabbat nekabila mitah hashmelech imelucha. 
ומי צאי מתוך אחריך, רב לא הקשבת באיבך בך, והוא יחמול עלי חמלה, לך דודי לקרא כלה, פני שבת נקבלה, יתנערי מאפר ומי, לבשי בגדי תפארתך חמי, על יד בני שי בית הלחמי, כור ואל נפשי גאלה, לך דודי לקראת כלה, תנה שבת נקבלה, התעוררי, נתעוררי, כי היווה אורן קומי אורי, אורי אורי שיר דברי. כבוד אדוני עלייך נדלה, לך דודי לקראת כלה, פני שבת נקבלה, לא תבושי ולא תקומי, מה תשתוק אחי מה תביא, בך יחסו אני אעמי, ונהיתנתה עיר על פילה. לך דודי לקראת כלה, פני שבת נקבלה, והיו לשבשה שהוסעיך, ורחת כוכו מבלייך, יסיס עלייך אלוהיך, כי אם סוסך תנהל כלה, לך דודי לקראת כלה. פני שבת נקבלה, ימין ושמאל תהיפוצי, ואת אדוני תעריצי, על יד איש בהם פרצי, ונהי שמחה ונגילה, לך דודי לקראת כלה, פני שבת נקבלה. בואי בשלום עטרת בלה, גם בשמחה ובשאולה, תוך אמוני עם סגולה. בואי חלה, בואי חלה, לך דודי לקראת חלה, פני שבת נקבלה. Let's turn to page 22 for verses from Psalm 92, the Psalm for Shabbat. And let's read the authentic uh, paragraph in English together and then come back for Tzadik HaTamar. A Psalm, a song for Shabbat. It is good, praise and I, to sing hymns to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your steadfast love at daybreak, your faithfulness each night. With a ten string harp and voice and lyre together, you have gladdened me by your deeds, Adonai, with shouts of joy to your handiwork. How great are your works, Adonai, how very subtle your design. A brute cannot know, a fool cannot understand this. Zadi katahamayi ibra keres balvanot. Turn to page 24 as we complete Kabbalah Shabbat by welcoming the angels who come to spend Shabbat with us. Two angels on Shabbat. 
Shalom Aleichem, Malachi HaShahari, Malachi El Yom, Nihele, Malachi Amlachi HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Malachem L'Shalom, Malachi HaShalom, Malachi El Yom. We have completed Kabbalah Shabbat. The Shabbos bride is here with us. Let's turn to page 146 and begin the RV, the evening service for Shabbat. Page 146, Baruchu. Baruch Page 147, let's read together. The three uh, the three paragraphs in English. Adonai, your majesty is proclaimed by the marvels of earth and sky. Sun, moon, and stars testify to your power and wisdom. Day follows day in endless succession, and the years vanish, but your sovereignty endures. Though all things pass, let not your glory depart from us. Help us to become co-workers with you and endow our fleeting days with the abiding word. Baruch atah Adonai ha-ma'avihim ha-rabihim. Second blessing begin before Shema. Ahavat olam beit Yisrael amcha-ha-ha-ta Torahu mitzvot u-kimu mishpatim o-tanu li-mahadita Okay, na do na yelohe do, the shofe do, who pay do, na see a fehu who keha, Vinismah, Vidi great or a teha, who ve me hits for teha, Leo la hamboed, Ki heim kayenu, the order yamenu. The Orech Yameinu, Uvahem Nehege Yomam Valayla, Yomam Valayla. The Ahavat Dechal Pas Yemimenu Ilamim, Baruch Ata Adonai, O Hevam Ho Yisrael. Shema Yisrael. Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Ve'ahavtaha e Adonai Elohecha, ve'chol rachaha, u'v'chol nafshecha, u'v'chol meodecha, ve'hayu advarim ha'eva. Asher nochi mitzavecha, ayahom alvavecha, vishinantaham lavanecha, vidibahartaha, vishitecha vavetecha, uvlektecha vaderech, uvishokvecha uvtumecha, uksharkam leohot al yadecha, Vihayu l'totafahot v'neinecha U'chafam al mezuzot v'eitecha 
uvishareha, leman tizkeruhu vasitehem ekomitrotai, videm kedoshihi leloehem, ahani adonai eloehem, asher hutzeh yetem leeretz mitrayim, leot lachem leloehem, Ani Adonai Elohechem. Top of page one hundred, not the top of page one hundred fifty-one, middle of one hundred fifty-one. Let's read responsibly. <laughs> we worship the power that unites the universe, a promise of harmony for all. Before our eyes, there is a vision of perfection, <laughs> order, and goodness. There is a great heart. When will redemption come? Long ago, we escaped the tyranny of Egypt. Our people saw the power of the Most High. Top of 152. Me, <laughs> Top of page 153, the first two lines of Hashkivenu, then together in English. The Hami Deinu Shom Reinu Lechayim Ashkileinu Adonai Eloheinu Lishalom The Hami Deinu Shom Reinu Lechayim And together in English, give us a place to rest, O God. Shelter us in the long, soft evening shadows of your sleep. Through our true protection and safety, in your presence we find love and acceptance. Watch over us as we go forth, prepare for us as we return. Spread over us your shelter of peace, over all that we love, over our Jerusalem and yours. Baruch atah Adonai, Avarim Sukkot Shalom Aleinu, V'yal Kol Amo Yisraelha, V'yal Yerushalayim. Top of page 154, the Shabru, it's not Shabbat without the Shabru, <laughs> reminding us of our um, um, connection, our connection to Shabbat. The Shabru, the Nehe Yisrael, Eheh HaShabbat, Lasot Et the Shamru, the Neisrael, the Hashabat, the Hashabat, the Hashabat, the 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 name is Israel, the the name is Israel, the Hashabbat, the Hashabbat, 
let we are at the center, central prayer of the evening service, the Amidah, beginning on page 155, 156, and 157, which we will chant together. And then we'll go silent so that you can finish the Amidah, either in Hebrew or in the English translation, or by offering up your own meditative prayer during that time. But we'll begin on 155 together. Adonai sefatai tifah uriyaki tifatecha Adonai sefatai tifah uriyaki tifatecha Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu, Elohe Avotei, Mimoteinu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzhak, Elohe Yashroho, Elohe Salva, Elohe Yitzhak, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Ha'gadol, Ha'gidol, Ha'nura, Elohe Yohon, Domeo Chasadim, Domeo, Bekone Ha'koho, Mishokhe <laughs> Bashiba <laughs>
I'm still completing Army Da. Please continue at your own pace. You're going to be on page 160, reading together in the middle of the page. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may we all live in such a way that this day fulfill its promise. Page 163, a little bit of Hoda'a, some thanksgiving, uh, which comes from Akara Tato, recognizing the good. Top of 163, responsibly. For the good in us which calls us to a better life, we give thanks. For the strength of the world, of our hearts, our hands, and also for our For the desire in us which leads us to work for peace, we are grateful. For life and nature, harmony and beauty, for the hope of tomorrow. Operation and we'll close out the Amidah as always in the afternoon and evenings at Shalom Rav with a prayer for peace. Shalom Rav al Yisrael Ham Tasim Leolam. Shalom Rav al Yisrael Ham Tasim Leolam. Yatahu melechadon lemol ha shalom. Yatahu melechadon lemol ha shalom. Shalom raham al Yisrael ham aha asim leolam. Shalom raham al Yisrael ham. Blesses your people, Israel, with peace. Baruch atah Adonai, amevarech et amo Yisrael, v'shalom. Let's jump ahead to page 253 with a Mishaberach, one of several kinds of Mishaberach prayers. This one is for healing. If you have anyone that needs a little extra healing, uh, physical, emotional, spiritual, Keep them close to your heart and in your thoughts as we prepare for the middle of page 253, Yishaberah. Yishaberah, ahavoteinu, mekor habrakah, lehimavoteinu. May the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Bless those in need of healing with Rifua Shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, 
Pages 258 and 259, Prayers of Our Community. And uh, Marilyn, would you read at the top of 258 the prayer for our congregation? No worries. It's Shabbat. No worries. Source of all being, may the children of this community learn these passions from us. Love of Torah, devotion and prayer, support of the needy. May we guide with integrity, and may our leadership be your, in your service. May those who teach and nourish us be blessed with satisfaction, and may we appreciate their time and devotion. Bless us with the fruits of wisdom and understanding, and may our efforts bring fulfillment and joy. Dennis, how about a prayer for our country? Thus says Adonari, this is what I desire, to unlock the fetters of weaknesses and tie the cords of losses, to let the pros go free, to break off every yoke, share your bread with the hungry, and take the wretched poor into your home. When you, are, when, when you see the naked, give clothing, and do not ignore your own kin. If you banish the yoke from your midst, the menacing hand, the evil spirit, spirit, if you offer compassion to the hungry and satisfy the banished creature, then your light shall shine in darkness. Shalom, shalom, Yerushalayim, Yishlayu, Ahavayim. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and those who love you prosper. Amen. Uh, Shabbat Shalom, Sur Yisrael, Mugolo, Barek et Medinat Yisrael, Reishit Smichat Ulatenu. Again, Aleha, Yabrak Hastecha, Ugros Aleha, Sukat Shlomecha, Ushwa, Koracha, Vamitha, Rasheha, Soreha, Biawetseha, the Tak named Eitza, Tova, Milfanecha, the Nakata Shalom, the Hartz, the Sintak Olam, the Yoshadeha, the Nomar, Amen. David, how about the English of that? O Heavenly One, protector and redeemer of Israel. Bless the state of Israel, which marks the dawning of hope for all who seek peace. Shield them beneath the wings of your love. Spread over the canopy of your peace. Send your light and truth to all who lead and advise, guiding them with your good counsel. Establish peace in the land and fullness of joy for all who dwell there. Let us amen. say amen. amen. All right, friends. Shabbat shalom and good Shabbos. 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 All right. This uh, week's Torah portion is Kitabo, and it means when you go into, uh, when you go into, or when you come into. And Moshe is continuing his final lectures, and he's entering the final section of the uh, third speech, third major speech that uh, is in the book of Devarim. And he's focusing on the time when B'nai Yisrael will have settled the land. So he's kind of looking uh, forward. And he says that after the harvest, right, so that you have your big harvest at the end of the year, right around Sukkot. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, the first harvest. You bring your first fruits. And uh, this is a ritual that we have incorporated into the, it was incorporated later into the uh, temple period, where we recall our history as slaves and how God delivered us. Right? And so I've been having a lot of conversations this week with people. Uh, who have read this Torah portion, and they say, well, does it make sense that we remember that, right? Don't we want to put our best foot forward? Well, we don't want to forget our history. We don't want to forget where we came from. And part of it is, is that we were slaves. We had nothing. God took us out of, out of Egypt and delivered us to this land. And we have these fruits. We have these first fruits because of what God has done for us. Not because we're the best people on the earth, not because we're the best farmers, because what has God, because what has what God has got, done for us. Uh, and in the Haggadah, we hear that my father was a wandering Aramean, and this is part of the first fruits ritual. We then move on to talk about tithes again, this idea of giving 10% for the Levite, the widow, the orphan, and the immigrant. 
And Moshe says, if we faithfully observe the mitzvot, if we listen to what uh, God has told us and what Moshe has told us, that we will become God's treasured people and we will be an Am Kadosh. We will be a holy people. This section um, is about ritualizing our history. And the most common, the, the, the biggest place we see that is in the Haggadah. But it starts really here where we're told, remember our history. We can't forget where we came from. And we remember our history, warts and all. The second section that Moshe has this week is a very difficult section. It's called the Tochacha section, which means rebuke. And there's a ceremony that is involved where the tribes are divided and one set of tribes goes on Mount Gerizim and the other on Mount Ebal and the blessings and the curses are recited. The blessings to once uh, one group of the tribes and the curses at the other. Not that they were being blessed or cursed, but they could act as witnesses. And I know people don't like this section because there's, they, they always see, well, you know, Rabbi, does, God isn't going to curse us. Well, no, God isn't going to curse us. Our ancestors didn't have the, the vocabulary that we have, right? When they say blessings and curses, they mean consequences. If you act in a certain way, certain things will befall you. If you act in a different way, other way, other things may happen to you. Consequences are neither positive or negative in general. It's only after we act that they become positive or negative, or in the language of the Torah, blessings or curses. And it's all about our behavior. Right? It's all about our behavior. If we make idols, if we insult our parents, if we move our neighbor's landmark, right? you say, well, what is that? Well, that is if you go out at night and you move your fence um, and give you six, take six inches from your neighbor's place and put the fence down there, you have stolen your neighbor's property. Right? They didn't have fences back there. They had landmarks. They had piles of stone. They had uh, long pieces of wood that would mark boundaries. If you mislead the blind, if you subvert the rights of the widow, the orphan, and the immigrant, again, how many times do we have to hear that we have to care for these people? The widow, the orphan, and the immigrant, the three classes of people in the ancient world and in the modern world who need our help the most because they have no one else. If we accept bribes and if we fail to live according to the terms of the Torah, Calamity, panic, and misfortune will befall us, leading up to exile. And we and it, and we're promised that lo yihyeh manuah, we will not know peace. However, the blessings, if we follow what God wants us to do, and if we don't do the negative commandments, God will take care of us. We will be the head and not the tail, and we will prosper. It's all about our behavior. For those uh, keeping track at home, even though this is a very, very important parsha, only six new mitzvot, three ta'ase, three things that we're supposed to do, and three things that we're not supposed to do. And that is your Torah portion in a nutshell. All right, we are a little over halfway, well, to 20th. No, we're, we're more than halfway through the month of Elul, the month leading up to the high holidays, right? So I guess we're now going to be going into the 21st of Elul, eight days until the high holidays, eight days until Rosh Hashanah. And so now it's time to take the initiative, right? As much as Elul, I've been talking about this since the beginning of Elul, as, as much as Elul is about preparing us for the high holidays, Right? We, we talked about repairing our relationships, um, looking back on the past year to see our successes and our failures. It's also about learning how to love God by learning how to love each other. Right? And that's a big ticket right now, right? Learning how to love God by loving each other, right? Because the way we love each other is the way we can turn that love onto God. The rabbis, uh, not rabbis like me, but the rabbis capital R from the uh, Talmudic period, loved acronyms. They loved to take the letters of words 
and apply them, applying verses that match up. They did all sorts of wonderful things. They found one for Elul. They found a verse um, in Shir Hashirim, in Song of Songs. And it is one of the most beautiful expressions of love found anywhere or in any literature. Right? The letters of, in the um, word Elul, the month of Elul, it's Aleph, Lamed, Bab, Lamed. Four letters. And they, sell, they said Elul is actually means Ani, La Dodi, the Dodi, Li. <coughs> Right now, this is you probably recognize it in Hebrew. You'll recognize it in English when I give you the translation. I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. Or I am to my beloved, and my beloved is to me. Depending on how you want to translate it, but it's a beautiful moment, right? Because this is the month of Elul is about really looking at who we are, improving ourselves but ultimately accepting who we are, that we're human, that we are um, human. That's it. I mean, that's the bottom line, that we are human. So the ani, the I in the Hebrew here, is he, this. we take the initiative, right? So I am to my beloved, right? And then the beloved responds in kind, and my beloved is to me. And how I interpret this or how I view this I show my beloved who I am. I am to my beloved. This is who I am, warts and all. And then they accept it. Because after all, they're our beloved. And then they show me who they are. My beloved says, ah, oh, thank you. And this is who I am. And I accept it. I am, my, I am to my beloved, and my beloved is to me. <clears throat> And this love that we share is the acceptance of who we both are. Not trying to say, oh, I want you to be this, I want you to be X. I know that you're right-handed, but I want you to be left-handed. I know that you know, you're allergic to eggs, but I want you to eat them anyway. None of that. I know that you're hot-tempered, um, but I accept that in, in a way. Right? The acceptance of who we both are. And then it's the same with God, right? Like our beloved, God will respond to us, right? We on the high holidays show up and say, God, here we are. This is it. This is who we are. This is how we are. Not who, not only who, but how we are. And God will, like our beloved, respond. Maybe not the way we want. Just like our beloved may not respond the way we want, but we hope that they we will. But the question is, how often do we take this initiative? How often do we present ourselves, our true selves, to our beloved? How often do we present our true selves to God? Now I'll get the third one. How often do we present our true selves to ourselves? And the month of Elul is giving us that opportunity to think about these things. It's hard to do. It's hard to put yourself out. It's hard to expose yourself to be vulnerable because we don't want to get hurt. So we hide. We hide behind walls. We hide behind masks. We hide behind personae. Instead, we just need to take this initiative. We can sit back and wait, right? I mean, the, the flip side of Anila Dodi Vidoli Li is that, well, I am who I am and my beloved is who they are. So I'll wait for my beloved to show me who they are and then I'll show them who I am, right? That waiting doesn't work, right? We can, um, we can sit back, we can wait, we can do nothing, but then chances are things are not going to change. Elul is the month of change. It is the month of taking the initiative of being our true selves with our beloved and with God. And so I want you to find a new way to express your love to your beloved. It doesn't have to be uh, skywriting. And your beloved doesn't even have to be here. 
to find these ways. And then find a new way to express your love towards God. Simply just be who you are. Shabbat shalom and good Shabbos. Shabbat shalom and good Shabbos. All right, let us start closing out on page 282 with Malenu. Kiddush. Kiddush. Thank you. Mari's not here. David, last week you were quick with the Kiddush. He was quick. Uh, thank you. Yes, Kiddush. He do just want to get to that line. Well, you know, that's, you know, this uh, my grape juice was a good week, so I can't wait to get to that. Um, but it is kiddush time. It is Friday night. Kiddush. Vayera vayivoke yom hashishi vayachulu hashamayim v'haharetz. The whole Sivam, by a Hallelohim, by Yom Hashbi, Melachto Asher Asa, by Yishbot, by Yom Hashbi, Miko Melachto Asher Asa, by a Bare Elohim at Yom Hashbi, by a Kadesho To, Kibo Shavat, Miko Melachto. Asher bara Elohim laaso sabri baruch atana Elohim melech olam bore pri agafen baruch atana Elohim melech olam asher kedushan mitzvotav v'ratzavanu b'shabat kodesho v'ahavat ratzot v'ilahanu. Zikaro le maase bereshi, ihu yom tehila la mikra e kodesh, zecher le tziyah mitzrayim. Vianu vacharta, v'ortanu kidasha, mikoho ha'amim. Shabbat Koshecha, Be'ahama Uratzon, Ihaltanu, Baruch Atadunai, Mekahadesh, Ha'ashabat. Amen. Now, page 282 for Alenu. Alenu le Shabbat Ladon Hako, La Teik Dula Liose Hebreshi, Shelo Asanu Kagoye Haratzon, Milo Hosamanu Kemishpachot Adama. Shalo sam pelkenu kahem, vegohor alenu keho hamonam, vahanachu kori, umishachami hodim, lichne pele, male hamachim, akadosh baruchu. Shehu no teshamayim biyoser ahakem, Umoshem yikaro bashamai mima, ushina kuzo, ushina kuzo, begobe mero midi. Hu eloheinu eheinot, emet momenu oifetu lato, kakatu betorato, biadata hayom behashevota,
27, uh, one of the most beautiful pieces of uh, poetry found in the Bible. And uh, let's read, if you have your uh, laminated sheets, let's read responsibly in English. Are you okay, Dennis? You okay? Good here. I got my big shoes on. Okay, I got your big shoes. <laughs> Oh, David, Adonai is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? Adonai is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I dread? Though armies besiege me, my heart shall not fear. Should war beset me, still do I trust. One thing do I ask of Adonai, is this that I will see? God hides me in God's shelter on the day of evil, conceals me in the recesses of God's tent. On a rock, God raises me up. And now I have rises over my enemies around me, putting on in God's tent and sacrifices the joyous shells. Let me sing a hymn to our honor. Hear, O Lord, my voice when I call, and grant me peace and answering. If you my say, seek my face, seek my face, face your face, face Lord, I give you. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in wrath. You are my help. Abandon me not, nor forsake me, O God, my rescue. Do not my brother and mother forsake me, nor I would gather in. Teach me, O Lord, your way, and lead me on a level path because of my adversaries. I have not the assurance that I would enjoy the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Hope for the Lord, This week we continue observing Shloshim for Pauline Kaplan. And this week we observe the following yard signs. Fred Island, relative to Ed. Gladys Hamill, Joe's wife, Dennis's mother. Frank Gableman, Steve Shadows' maternal grandfather. Bessie Levine, Marilyn Cullen's mother. Helen Rose, Harold's mother. Dr. David Weinslide, Husband of Tammy, father of Zoe, Annabella, Noah, Aaron, and Kyle. Jane Jackson, Clarence's wife. Minnie Jacobs, Richard and Linda Kunz's grandmother, Leila's mother. <coughs> Muriel Kalman, Sharon Weed's mother. Rowena Pickholz, wife of Bob, stepmother of Linda. Hal Schiff, Rena's uncle. Holman Stern, Rena's husband, father of Brenda, Rosalind, Dickie, Janice, and Stephanie. Dusty Billig, Ernst Billig's mother, William Field, David's father, Rebecca Strauss, a relative of Harold, Lloyd Max Armster, relative of Gloria Mazzo, Herman Brodoff, husband of Sophie, Mark and Terry's father, Anna Gottlieb, Jack Gottlieb's mother, Elsa Simon Landau, related to Pete Bro and Bert Landau, Max Shrinsky, Sherry Solichek's uncle. May their souls be bound up in the bond of life eternal. May their memories be a blessing to us always. And may they all rest in peace. Amen. Amen. God bless them all. Mourner's Kaddish is found on page 294. Yitzchadal, Yitzchadash, Shei Rabbah, Ba'amad, Yirach, Yirutei, Yalmik, Ba'achutei, 
All right, friends. Shabbat Shalom and good Shabbos. Good Shabbos to you. Uh, a couple of quick announcements before we turn to 321 for Adon Alam. Service is tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. And then again on Sunday at 9 a.m. Tomorrow night at 8 p.m. You will have gotten a notice for a Slichot program. It's the third year we'll be um, participating in the Slichot online. And uh, so Slichot is a, is a series of penitential prayers with high holiday tunes that are um, recited the, the Shabbos before Rosh Hashanah. And now you're going to say, but Rabbi, next Shabbos is the Shabbos before Rosh Hashanah. But according to tradition, you need four days of slichot prayers. So if we started it next Saturday night, uh, Sunday night is Rosh Hashanah. So when it happens that there are fewer than four days between Shabbos and the new year, slichot gets bumped um, a week up or back, bumped back a week. And so that, um, that's why it's tomorrow night. And so you can tune in. Um, it's it's on Zoom. You can live stream it on Zoom or on the Facebook link that was sent out in the email. Uh, Sunday morning again, uh, nine o'clock for services. Uh, Three o'clock, we're going to have our "Let My People Know," and we're going to be studying the laws of tshuva, the laws of repentance according to Maimonides. And this is something we need to know because if you want to uh, make your apologies and if you want to do what Maimonides will call true tshuva, true return, um, you need to follow these steps. So that's Sunday at 3. Monday night at 6.30, we're going to have our deep dive into Genesis. Wednesday night is uh, Yiddish Choir. Uh, Yiddish, best of Yiddish Choir uh, with the most from coast to coast. Uh, tune in, it's here and on Zoom. And, uh, you know, get your Yiddish on and learn some great, fun songs. And I think that's it. And then we'll be back next Friday, the last uh, Shabbat of the year. So it is close, friends. It is very, very, very close. Um, Judy, did I miss anything? Just choir. Oh, you have choir Sunday at 1.30 and Thursday at 7. seven. I know I was forgetting something. That was going to be funny. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Lots going on. <laughs> Lots going on. All right. So let's close out uh, 321 with Adon Olam. Adon Olam Hashem Allah V'terem kol yitzir nibra Le'et nasa v'hev sokol Azai me'helek shimo nibra V'yachari iklot ha'kol Levahato in Lahora, the who haya, the who hove, the who ye the tea of the who the ancient me, Laham Shilo, Lahafira, the Lee Sheet, the Lee Kahli, the Lohahos, the Hamis, the who ate the Haigoadi. The two head be the eight Sahara, the who he see monosly, the not go see the Omekra, the Ado, a key roofy, the eight Shan, the Ahira, the Ruhi, the Ati, Adona, I leave with Ohira. 
I forgot to mention that my Sunday afternoon class is live here and also on Zoom. But let's see. Oh, we have people saying hello to us through the interwebs this evening. We have ML Glazer and Herman. Wish everyone a good Shabbat. Thank you, uh, Marilyn and Herman. A good Shabbos to you. Donna Wilson, wishing everyone a beautiful and peaceful Shabbat and a gorgeous weekend. Thank you, Donna. Same to you. Uh, there's Mom. Shabbat Shalom to all from Rabbi's Mom and Cliff. Thanks, Mom and Cliff. Wishing all a beautiful and peaceful weekend and week ahead. Yes, thank you, Samu and David Johnson. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom to you as well. And there's Diane Shadow. Shabbat Shalom from Diane and Steve. Well, thank you, Diane and Steve. May your Shabbat be peaceful and calm. Amen and same for you. All right, friends. Shabbat Shalom. Good Shabbos. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. We'll see you soon. And please, please be careful out there. Good Shabbos, everyone. Good Shabbos.